So for your Friday viewing pleasure, I'd like to start off by saying one thing, and that is that what women give you is a loan, and what you give her is a gift, okay? She's always going to be counting what she gives you. She's always going to be counting the dollars or how many times, and what you give her is always going to be permanent. And you might get it back, but it won't be in the amount or in the value that you gave it. Now, the story that I have for today, this man should have done his due diligence, okay? He thought he had a good girl, a young girl, and in the end, he finds out that he had a hustler. Now, in her defense, again, he should have done his due diligence. He should have somehow vetted this woman, a man of his stature and status, a man of his wealth, should have vetted this woman properly. He did not do that, okay? Uh, but like I said, we do not get the excuse of not knowing, okay? Women always have the high ground in situations like this, which you will see, okay? So without further ado, let's go to work. Vegas mogul sues Instagram model ex-girlfriend for secret OnlyFans photo shoots in his mansion, milking him out of $1.3 million. You lose. Yes, Vegas mogul had a girlfriend and you will see later in the story as we read how he was milked out of $1.3 million. And again, you'll see here in the coming lines, he should have done his due diligence. He should have seen this coming. He did not. And to be honest with you, it's probably his fault a lot, most of it anyway. But let's continue. The woman in the above photo is Stephanie Gerzanski, aka Stephanie Knight, an extremely successful Instagram and OnlyFans model who is being sued by a former flame or some eye raising accusations. Stephen J. Klobik, a Las Vegas timeshare mogul, claims he was duped into a relationship with Grzanski, who allegedly built him for $1.3 million in gifts and secretly used his mansion for racy OnlyFans photo shoots. File this one under millionaires posting their L's. Bruh. Now, this article is from the Bro Bible, so there will be some, you know, maybe funny puns in here. But in any case, Stephen Klobeck, man, Stephanie Grzanski, a.k.a. Stephanie Knight, the girlfriend in question, and says he was duped out of $1.3 million and she used his matching to do OnlyFans photo shoots. Go figure. So let's continue to see how he was duped and some of the things that he is accusing her of. Klobeck, 59, is suing three women who he claims duped him into dating Gerzanski, who was billed as a fashion model, quote-unquote. Anyone else wish they were duped? Klobeck, the former CEO of Diamond Resorts International, claims that Gerzanski is not a fashion model. Instead, the lawsuit calls her a grifter, looking for her next mark, who she could take as much property as possible while pretending to be in love. Kloba and Grzanski were allegedly introduced in the summer of 2020, and soon after the meeting, he split with his wife of 22 years. What the fuck? Yes. So, he is suing three women who he alleges they conspired to con him into dating this woman. She's not a fashion model. She claims that she's some type of grifter, a hustler, if you will. And yes, she took property from him, he alleges, and pretended to be in love with him. Met him in the summer of 2020, and then soon afterwards, he left his wife of 22 years. Now, I don't know what his home situation was, but before you do something like this, because I'm sure that he probably jumped in with this woman as soon as he left his wife, why not do your due diligence? I mean... You had a wife for 22 years. Like I said, I don't know what this dynamic was in his relationship, but in my estimation, he found a young girl that took a liking to him. You know, uh, this woman happened to be of the junior college variety. Shout out to CGA. And he jumped on the chance to have this young woman in his bed. And, you know, she's love bombing and all that. And you left your crusty wife for 22 years, which that was probably a mistake. You probably lost some money out of the deal. But in any case, you know, hey, you jumped out of your 22-year marriage and jumped into a relationship with this young woman who you barely know. That was really smart on his part, right? Let's continue. 
as a result of Grzanski's fraud. Klobik's heart was broken and he was duped out of significant assets the lawsuit alleges. Klobik says Grzanski is a con artist, quote unquote, who built him for $1.3 million in gifts over the roughly six month relationship, says the Daily Mail. Okay, real quick, guys, stop right there. Six month relationship, you just got out of a marriage of 22 years. You brought knew her for six months. And as you scroll, you're going to see how he showered her with everything in that six months. Grzanski, who has nearly 2 million Instagram followers, has been featured in fashion magazines such as Cosmopolitan, Ellie, and Vogue. Here you see a picture of Stephanie Grzanski right here from uh, Los Angeles, California, I guess. Look at her, right? Okay. It's okay. All right. Some look at. Tuesday night, you might get that. Okay. Let's, let's talk about it. Let's scroll down here and read some more. Klobik, allegedly. Bar Grzanski. You ready? Bar Grzanski, jewelry threw her a lavish birthday party, took her on trips in his private jet, spent time with her at his properties in Beverly Hills, Las Vegas, San Cabo, and San Lucas. In one of the most egregious but by no means only examples of this disrespectful intrusion into Klobeck's private life, Grzanski posed topless while wearing a yarmulke from his son's bar mitzvah, the complaint says. She posed in the bathroom of his jet in his private suite at the mansion at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas in his bedrooms on a yacht he rented and anywhere else she could sneak a photo to peddle on the internet the complaint alleges many of the only fans and social media photographs published by Grzanski featured Klobik's fixtures furnishings and luxury goods perfect see that in the six months that they were together that he met her he took her on trips brought her jewelry took her on a private jet but town heard all her pro at all of his properties took her to you know these nice hotels and lavish places six months now again you have the money for that which is fine but again you barely know this woman and you just left your wife of 22 years and I don't know if you had your head screwed on straight at that time, you know, if you had your third eye going, but it seems to me that, like I said, you got love bombed and you started spoiling the crap out of this woman. You know, I don't know how lonely this may be. Instead of, you know, saying, you know what? This was a long relationship. I maybe should take a break. No, this woman. And again, this is why I say he should have done his due diligence or maybe just backed off a little bit and you know survey the land a little bit he all of this and you'll see here in a minute where this blows up in his face let's talk about that the lawsuit alleges that Grzanski 26 hmm, was unclad while Klobik's teenage daughter and staff were in the house the lawsuit purportedly names Grzanski a matchmaker Abigail Lee and Grzanski's friend Adriana Sucher according to the Tri-Country Century. Lee told Klobik that she would find him a woman that would take care, love, and cherish him for the rest of his life. The lawsuit was filed on Friday, states. Grzanski claims that Klobik asked her to marry him on Christmas Day, but she declined and said the relationship was over. So in six months, she got all the money, all the gifts, all the accolades, all the fine dining and trips. And then he gets to the pinnacle in his estimation of the relationship and says, you know what? You know, this dating woman said, you know what? She's going to find me somebody. She did. You get this woman in six months, you wild the crap out of her. She loves bombs. You maybe give you some stuff you didn't have until you ain't had in 22 years. And... You say, you know what, man? I think I can spend the rest of my life with her. And you pop the question on Christmas Day. And she says, you know, I, I love you, but, you know, I, we kind of take it slower. You know, not right now. I, I need some time. This is where Klobeck knew he fucked up. Sorry, YouTube censors. And speaking of YouTube censors, before we continue, I need to keep the algorithm happy. If you don't mind, please hit the like button or the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever I drop a new video, comment, 
share it with your friends also if you feel so inclined to donate to the channel hit the cash app dial sign the working man zero zero moving on so in a minute you're going to see how this woman uh distances herself at, uh, after she has gotten everything she wanted to get out of mr clobit all right so let's finish up with that starting the day after i told stefan that i no longer want to be in a relationship with him bam she became unhinged and began abusing and harassing me, Gransky said. He began attacking me and everyone around me with the intent of hurting me and isolating me from my friends and family, and he also began trying to destroy my financial independence. The former couple have launched restraining orders against each other. The Los Angeles Superior Judge David Swift issued a temporary restraining order on behalf of Gransky against Klobik in January, directing him not to come within 100 yards of her her home workplace vehicle and 54 year old mother sandra gerzanski so i'm not gonna read the rest of the article uh it just explains more about how they were harassing each other and the restraining order and all that and some more pictures of her uh yeah he claims he's a victim of fraud and theft and that he was duped into marrying this woman like it was all big big setup and you know what? This is what happened. This is what she did with you, Mr. Clobeck, okay? She leveled up on you, bro. This dating coach, I mean, she might, this dating coach might not even know who she was because, again, women are very good at hiding themselves. They're very good at interviewing, if you know what I mean, okay? And like I said, you should have done your due diligence. And now you're trying to sue this woman, which you won't, you likely will not get this stuff because. She can easily just say, you know, I didn't have to tell her who I was. You know, I could have just, you know, I just could have just done OnlyFans after the fact. Or, you know, the OnlyFans doesn't define who I am as a woman. I can just be, who I, this can just be whoever I want to be. This doesn't mean that I was trying to hustle you just because I had an OnlyFans account. I mean, you were dating me. I was in your house. I had access to these photos. I didn't have anything secret in there. So there's a lot of ways she can explain this away and the course will undoubtedly take her side she does have a case against you well i'll say it. she does have a case to be dismissed all right so mr uh Klobik, again you should have done your due diligence you probably should really just stay with your wife for 22 years and, well i'm not gonna say that you should have done your due diligence and you probably should have just slowed your roll and after you found out this stuff then you could have made some decisions, but you jumped into this head first. Okay. Soon after you got this woman, you left your wife for 22 years and you showed this woman the world in six months. And undoubtedly now it's not worth it. I'm sure he sees that now, but, uh, yeah, man. I mean, wh whose fault is it? I would estimate, uh, it's Mr. Klobeck. I wish you well in your future endeavors, but. I'm sure you will learn a lot from this and working men out there i hope you did too so again this is jason with the working man like comment subscribe follow me on all social media outlets the links are in the description if you feel so inclined to donate to the channel hit the cash app dollar sign the working man zero zero keep moving keep improving see you on the next video